It's that time again. It is snack time with Chef Brian. Are you ready for some goodness? Are you hungry? Let's get it started. Here's Chef Brian. Welcome everybody. Welcome everyone. I am Chef Brian and today we're going to make a very simple tomato sauce and we're going to toss that with some penne pasta so let's get started I put some extra virgin olive oil in the pan as you can see and we're going to start with a little bit of fresh garlic and that's about one clove and here's what I have is I just have some fresh diced tomato now this recipe uh, if you really want a really good fresh tomato sauce uh, one of the things you have to start with is fresh tomatoes. Now these are actually uh, diced canned tomatoes, perfectly fine. Uh, you can use those and that's what I have here. We're going to put those in our pan and the whole key here is that we're going to reduce these down until it becomes an actual sauce. Now, you know, one of the things I love about cooking is the simplicity of it and I think sometimes we get so involved with all of the technology and things that are out there today that some of our grandmothers and great grandmothers would be rolling over because we've complicated the art of cooking so much and this is a great example uh, a great tomato sauce if uh, especially over in um, Italy they'll tell you uh, that it's, it, it doesn't need to be so complex it's actually very basic so that's one of the reasons why I'm very excited about doing this recipe today and also not to mention that I got a request uh, from one of my viewers and I thank them for that uh, to show how to do a nice tomato sauce and we're going to toss with some penne pasta so here right away what I want to do is I want to add some kosher salt now the reason for that is because sodium will actually start to reduce down and it will release all of the water from the tomatoes and it will start to soften them immediately to start to make our ragu or sauce okay so uh, once that's in there we're gonna add a little bit of cracked black pepper like so and then as far as the herbs I you know I'm very uh, high on this um, the basil in a tube here recommended highly and so we're gonna add a little bit of basil and I want to add a little bit of oregano and I have fresh oregano here as you can see okay just a handful now I'm not chopping this up because what I can do with this later is just go ahead and just uh, uh, take that out of the sauce or if you wanted to leave it in there and let it just reduce everything it's perfectly fine as well uh, it, it's gonna add some amazing flavor so we've got some herbs in there we've got our salt and our pepper now here's the other problem I have with canned tomato sauces and uh, and what you can find the marinara's and all the different I mean there's 30 or 40 different bottles now you see down the aisle at the grocer the problem is that if you look on the back and the ingredients what you're going to see if you look at the the way the ingredients are structured usually the second or third ingredient usually is sugar well that's because they want you know your children and your grandchildren and, and anybody that you know that loves a sweet taste they want them to fall in love with that sauce so sugar is a prominent ingredient I totally disagree I do put a little bit of sugar in my sauce but I want to do it uh, and I'm saying a little bit and I want to do it after it started to reduce a little bit so the sugar does not intensify in flavor so again again we're looking at a pinch here just a pinch and what that does is it is going to give us a nice contrast of flavor and that's all you're looking for you're not looking for a sweet tomato sauce okay a little bit of chicken stock all right and this is going to allow a little more liquid to let those tomatoes cook down even a little bit more and uh, I'm gonna let this reduce down probably for the sake of time this is probably gonna take about 30 minutes but when we come back I'm going to show you what it looks like completely reduced down and uh, we'll start uh, finishing our dish tossing it with our penne pasta all right now you can see how the tomatoes have reduced down we've actually have a nice sauce now that chicken stock incorporated with our tomatoes and just made a nice and some some Italians will even call this a gravy 
and uh, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now let's go ahead and add our penne pasta. Now one of the things I want you to know right away is that in Italy they would never take the sauce and just put a, a clump on top of the pasta and serve it. It's always incorporated and that's because they treat the sauce as a condiment, like a dressing. And so it's a part of the whole deal. So it needs to be dressed. The pasta needs to be dressed. Look at that. With the sauce. So in every bite, you have a nice array of flavors. In every bite, you're tasting some tomato and you're tasting a little bit of the pasta and the extra virgin olive oil. And everything is there. That's the whole deal. And so we're going to incorporate this and we're just going to let this all come together as one. And again, it's just a dressing. It's, it's a condiment. And that's what we're looking for. Now, once that started to all come together, I am going to add a little bit more black pepper and just a little bit more kosher salt. Perfect. Now, we're getting ready to take it to the plate. And before we do that, I want to show you a, a great uh, gadget that you can pick up, I don't know, five, six dollars somewhere. This is a, a microplane grater. And you, if you see one of these lying around somewhere at the store, your kitchen store, pick one up. It's worth every penny. What this does is it, uh, when you grade your cheese, it's um, really going to, I mean, it multiplies it by so much. Uh, it's an amazing little gadget, so I recommend it. Now, okay, here we go. Let's get ready to take it to the plate. We're going to turn our heat off here. And uh, this is good to go. Let's put our plate down like so. And now we've got it all in our bowl here. And now we're going to take our microplane and just dust our cheese. Look at that. So nice. Unbelievable. Perfect. And then maybe the last little touch, we'll take a little bit of that fresh oregano and just sprinkle on top like so. And there you have it. Beautiful, fresh tomato sauce tossed with some nice penne pasta. I mean, simple, delicious, basic. A hint with a little kosher salt, black pepper, a very, very light touch of sugar, extra virgin olive oil, some chicken stock, reduced down. Absolutely wonderful. Enjoy. You have been watching Snack Time with Chef Brian. For information and stories, just go to chefbriansblog.com. That's chefbriansblog.com. If you'd like to pick up some of Chef Brian's gourmet powdered sauces, just go to sauceinasecond.com. That's sauceinasecond.com. And as always, eat well, people.